I think I know where this idea came from. Natalie is really interested in everything about space. We have tons of books and magazines in our place. We even have a discovery model. Plus, Trout's patterns resemble Hubble shots so much. So I guess this is where it all originated. And finding a fish model is not that, not that hard. You just pack your stuff and go fishing. Did you fart? Being on the road is usually pretty fun. You see new places, stunning scenery, wildlife, grouse on the side of the road. Now it's not just a fishing trip, it's a mission. Big deal, you know. That's gross. You drive for several hours, you kind of question yourself if you're gonna find the fish, if you're gonna catch it, if you're gonna take a good photo that will actually work uh, as a reference. We got to the spot, I made one or two casts, and I hooked a fish. Then Natalie hooks a fish. Another one. It's a really good start of the day and we're having fun. The next fish I connect with, second fish of the day, is that perfect fish. It's actually really creepy how similar that fish was to what I had imagined in my head. It's a good one. That's a good one. So just like that, within an hour we were done with our itinerary for the trip. And from that moment on, we can just relax, chill and fish. I woke up to the sound of a drumming grouse. I poke my head out of the tent, and there he is, just sitting 10 feet away from me. The grouse hears me and starts not even running away, just walking away. I caught a glimpse of it in the woods, but that was it. We have quick breakfast and carry on. When you fish quite often, you snipe a bottom or a log or whatever it might be. And sometimes you don't want to lose your fly. So you jump into the water waist deep and try to recover your fly for a good five minutes. Somebody's really committed. Did I get it out? Then we stop to check out waterfall. You glimpse over the edge, you see all the water rushing down. It's just breathtaking. It's really amazing. All the mist coming up. Who 
Cooper is with us on every fishing trip we go to. I can count on one hand how many times I've fished without him. And not only he loves fishing, he knows fishing. He would watch the rod tip waiting for a strike. He should get a job in a fly shop or as a guide. There's a lot of stories behind this painting, a lot of personal experience, a little bit more than just a picture of the trout. 